All right, we're gonna start our video with an example using that theorem we just saw in our intro video. Um, and then we're gonna talk about a couple other theorems that we will continue to use in our next example. All right, so example one, if the measure of arc AD is equal to 155 degrees, so arc AD is A to D, that's a minor arc, that is 155 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of highlight that arc. That's what we're talking about, 155 degrees. And the measure of arc BC is 61 degrees. So here is BC from B to C, 61 degrees. What is the measure of angle one? So angle one right here is formed by two secants. They intersect and the vertex is inside the circle. So we're always going to point that um, out because you guys are going to see some examples where the vertex is outside the circle and that changes things. So when the vertex is inside the circle, then our angle is equal to half the sum of the arcs. So the formula is angle one, well the measure of angle one is equal to one half times the arc the angle one forms. So if we follow angle one out, it forms arc AD. So we're going to take arc AD plus the other arc. If you continue the lines the other direction, we're also getting arc BC. Okay, now let's just plug in what we know. Um, we don't know angle one, that's what we're trying to find. But we're going to take one half times arc AD is that 155 plus arc BC is 61. We will go ahead and add those together, just following order of operations. 155 plus 61 is 216, and then half of 216 is 108 degrees. So the measure of angle one is equal to 108 degrees. Remember angle one is um, an angle formed by two secants. The vertex was inside the circle, so your angle is equal to half of the sum of the arcs that it created or that it intercepted. All right, so what if your vertex is outside the circle? Let's talk about these three theorems and then we will try a few in our next example. So the, we have something called a secant-secant angle. It's an angle formed by two secants where the vertex is outside the circle. The measure of an angle formed by two secant lines that intersect outside a circle is half the difference of the two intercepted arcs. So here we have a, a circle. We have two secants where the vertex is outside the circle. So the vertex right here, angle one, is outside the circle. It is creating two intercepted arcs. We have this small arc A. That's kind of the inner one. And then we have this outer arc B. The outer arc will always be the larger arc. So our formula is the measure of that angle one, the angle created by the two secant, um, the two secants is equal to half of the difference of our two arcs. So, and it's always the bigger arc minus the smaller arc. So it's gonna be arc B minus arc A. Let's just make a note that this is always the bigger, maybe outer arc, <laughs> if that makes sense. So here's angle one. This is, I kind of see that as the outer arc. It's the one furthest away. All right, then we have something called a secant tangent angle. So if you have an angle formed by a secant, so here's our secant and a tangent, there's that tangent where it, hits the circle in one spot. Angle two right here, the vertex will be outside the circle. If you have a secant tangent angle, vertex is outside. So the measure of an angle formed by a secant line and a tangent line that intersect outside a circle is half the difference of the two intercepted arcs. So um, same ideas up here. What that's going to look like in this example is the measure of well, first let's talk about the arcs that get intercepted. So if we follow 
the tangent and the secant out, the arcs are going to be inside that angle. So the inner arc is arc C right here. And then the outer arc is going to be arc D. So that angle, the measure of angle 2, the angle is equal to half the difference of your arcs. It's always the difference of the arcs when the vertex is outside the circle. And it's always the, the bigger outer arc, so arc D minus arc C. All right, then we have a tangent-tangent angle. If you have an angle formed by two tangents, so that is angle 3, you can see that the vertex is outside the circle. So the measure of an angle formed by two tangent lines that intersect outside a circle is the difference of the two intercepted arcs. It actually is half the difference. We're missing the word half right there. Half the difference. Okay, so if we look at angle three and follow the angle out, follow the size of the angle out, we can see we are intercepting arc E right here. It's kind of our inside arc. And then we have arc F, which is the outside arc. So the measure of angle 3 is equal to half the difference of the arcs. And it's always the outer, outer arc, F, minus the inner arc, E. So if you take a look at our three theorems, it's the same formula every time. It looks a little bit different because our angles are formed by different things, like this is two secants, this is a secant and a tangent, this is two tangents. But what do they all have in common? Each angle has a vertex that is outside the circle. When your vertex is outside the circle, the angle is equal to half the difference of the arcs.